Is there an Aghori path? Definitely there is. Still a very active spiritual process. A recently dead body has certain possibilities. So certain systems use that. If you really want to see raising the dead and that kind of stuff, these are the people. Gauri means, uh, Ghora means terrible. Agori means that which is beyond terrible. So, is there an Agori path? Definitely there is. Still a very active spiritual process. People use various substances to do many different things. A recently dead body has certain possibilities. So certain systems use that. So what they are doing is, there is still prana in the body that is dead. So they are sitting there, if you go there to Manikarnika and Harishchandra Ghat, Agoris will be sitting there watching. Everybody who will come, they inquire, how old is this person, how did he die? That's why some of them who don't want that to be known, they're covering with plastic sheets, you know, where people cannot see. How old is the person? They won't say, how old was the person? But the agoris want to know, if it's a young person, somebody who was vibrant life and for some reason he died, they want that kind. When that happens, they want to do work there. They want to make use of the energy that's released. Once the body begins to burn, this prana has to exit immediately. When that exits, they want to make use of that life energy to do something with themselves. If you do not know the science of that, you cannot just think it's all bizarre. Yes, it's an extreme way of doing things, it is not for everybody. Why should somebody choose such a way? Because they don't see life as good and bad, they just see life as a possibility towards the ultimate, they don't care how. They don't care how they get there. Agora has never been socially acceptable kind of path because the things that they do are totally beyond anything that you would imagine. So, they do a variety of things. These are the kind of people If you really want to see raising the dead and that kind of stuff, these are the people. It is a very, I would say, crude technology. If you want to look at all systems of spirituality as a technology, it's a very crude technology, but still a technology. It works but very crude. See now, you want to find water. You can dig a well with your bare hands or you can use a crowbar and a shovel and dig. Or you can use some other kind of more sophisticated augers or whatever and dig. Or you can use a drilling machine and dig. Today you can actually do it in laser, it's expensive so nobody does it. Otherwise, with laser you could just dig a well. Same well, same water, but the way you do it is different. So if you do it with your bare hands, by the time you drink water, you will neither have nails nor skin left upon your hands, but you don't care because you're that thirsty. You're that thirsty. And it's also going to be a very long process 
but still you don't care, you don't want to look anywhere except where the water is, you just want to go. If you are in that kind of thing, yes. But the problem with that kind of thing is, your hands may wear out before you reach water. People have reached, not that they have not. With bare hands, people have dug wells and found water. But if you don't have strong enough hands, they may just wear out to the bone before you get to the water. And after your skin peels off, you may not have the strength to dig anymore. So those are kind of paths if a thousand people seriously take it on, one may make it, others will get lost. So these paths are generally taken more than spiritual dimension to acquire occult powers, that's why they go on that path. As a spiritual process also it is a possibility, but most people may not get there because most people do not have that kind of perseverance nor do they have that kind of courage, nor are they capable of handling disgust because you have to do the most disgusting things in the Aghori path. But they are done by people who want to acquire certain powers to dominate life, to dominate other human beings. In that context, Yes, it has been an active and effective path. It has also been an active and effective spiritual process for some people, but that's very rare few, not for others. Others will just break on paths like that. They'll just break up because it demands a different kind. They want to evolve to a place where what you hold as something that you abhor, they are trying to befriend that because the moment you like something and moment you dislike something, you have divided the existence. And once you divided the existence, you cannot embrace it. So they are going with whatever you would not be able to stand. What is most abhorrent for you, that is what they befriend because they want to take away what they like and what they do not like, everything is same to them. This is a way of embracing the universe.